Hey, what's up crew? It's Surfing Scratcher here and it's great to be back bringing you another series of Surfing Scratcher. In this video, I just want to share with you like eight or nine things that will set you up to have success with this season. I'm going to be sharing some new innovations for this channel as well. These decisions have been based on the feedback that you guys have been giving me, which is awesome. So continue that coming in. So let's go check out number one. A little while ago, I made a video on the Scratch Operator's blocks, and I did leave out a couple. In particular, that one that has a drop-down menu. So I've gone away and I've made a whole new series to explore it. It's going to be around 12 videos over the next three months. I'll be working on some new content in the background while we're releasing it. I'm hoping that'll be a steady stream of content for you guys in the future. So if you caught the trailer video last week, you would have seen that we're going to be making a space shooter game. The focus of this season of Surfing Scratcher is trigonometry. Yeah, that's right. We're going to be exploring the trigonometry functions. You can find them all in that Scratch reporter block that has that drop down menu with all those gnarly mass functions. Big shout out to the crew at raywinderlick.com as that's where I found this tutorial that we're going to be working through. If you want to go and check it out, I'll post the link down in the description. I'm going to be real with you. For some of you out there, the content in this season is going to be particularly tricky. For some of you, it might not be where you're at and that's okay. I strongly encourage you to have a crack at it anyway and have multiple passes of it to build your understanding. For those of you still in primary or elementary school using Scratch, this is going to set you up for some mathematics that you'll do in high school. So it's kind of neat that you're going to have an initial pass at it. And I want to be completely honest with you. I've made this game three times. Yeah, that's right. Three. The first time, that's when I used that tutorial from raywinderlick.com. And that was tricky. I didn't get it all right and I had to jump over to the Scratch forums to figure some stuff out. The second time was a practice round to get it ready to record for you guys. And the third time, well that's when I actually made the recordings that you're going to experience. And I've got to say, it certainly bolstered my understanding of trigonometry making this game as well. But just in case you're finding it really hard, I want you to be aware of these stories that you could be telling yourself. Stuff like, ah, oh, I'm not smart enough, or I'm not good enough for this, or I'm not good at maths. Like all of that is rubbish, it's all a mindset. Yeah, it might be tricky right now, but life is tricky. It's just an opportunity for you to learn and grow. I'm here to help you along the way, so make sure that you're posting comments. I'm going to do my best to help you out. If you find yourself you are telling yourself those self-defeating stories, I'm going to challenge you. I want you to append the word yet. So something like, I'm not good at maths, you just put yet on the end of it. When you add that little word yet, what that does is it creates an intention. The intention is that you're going to work hard and you're going to persevere through this. Remember, I'm just one person trying to build your understanding but I'm not necessarily the best person for it. There are heaps of other resources out there that you can go and check out. Heck, you should be doing that anyway, triangulating your sources. I'll be linking to heaps of Khan Academy videos down below in the description because Salman Khan has some incredible mathematics instruction videos. Just remember, you've got this. Play the long game, not the short game. So this season is going to be a bit of a marathon spread over around 12 weeks worth of tutorials. Now, if you're impatient and you can't wait week to week, I suggest you head over to my Patreon page because that's where I'm going to bulk upload four videos each month. Showing your support for this channel on Patreon goes a long way to making these videos possible. Of course, you can find a link to all that business down in the description. And if you're an educator in the house, great news because there are resources I'm going to be releasing each week that accompany these videos. So if you're teaching the trick theory in your classrooms, this would be a great opportunity to apply those concepts in real life. Okay, it's not technically real life, but it kind of is. If you've been following me since the beginning of this channel, you know I love a good starter project, and this series is full of them. At the start of each video, I'll have a shout out to a starter project that you can download. In fact, I'm gonna create a whole pack that you can download all at the same time. And all you need to do is just register your email to grab those. It's my online scratch page. It's getting a little bit crowded with all these starter projects. Okay, some new stuff that's coming in this season as well. I'm pretty pumped about this. I'm gonna be introducing the Surfing Scratcher shout out. This is where I'm gonna make a shout out to you guys out in the community. And the reason for that is that I wanna give you guys some big ups when you do some really cool stuff. There's gonna be a couple of ways that you can get a shout out. First, you can head over to my profile on Scratch and you can make a video request there. If I make your video, I'm gonna give you a shout out because you inspired me to make it. Another way to get a shout out is to remix one of my projects and show me how you modified it. I love that kind of engagement. I love when you've taken something and you put your own spin on it. That's really cool. The third way is that I've created a shout out studio. Now become a member of this studio and share just one project of your own. 
that's not how you're gonna get a shout out. You're gonna get a shout out when you make a positive and curious comment on somebody else's project. I wanna use that studio as a place where we can cultivate constructive, curious conversations between each other. What's a positive comment? It's simply like, I like how you did X, Y, Z. I want you to be stepping outside of your own shoes and contributing positively to other people. That's the kind of stuff I absolutely love. Lastly, I can't guarantee that you'll get a shout out. And the way to not get a shout out is to just request it. Hey, Serving Scratcher, can I have a shout out? No. Go back about 30 seconds and you can find all the ways to get a shout out. The final way is if you join the highest Patreon tier, I'll definitely give you a shout out and some credits on the video. Okay, we're nearly at the end. Another new innovation for this season is gonna be a fax video. So that's frequently asked questions. All those questions that I can't already put you onto another video or Scratch Wiki, I'm gonna make a compilation of all your questions that are out there. And they're gonna be like rapid fire stuff. So if you've got a question, post it in the comments down below. I'm gonna find the common themes and then I'll get those answers to you. And now for the first shout out. Thanks for TacoCat underscore gaming for making this suggestion. Now the best type of frequently asked questions are ones that will benefit everyone. The questions that are like, hey, can you tell me what's wrong with my project, that's not what's gonna get onto this particular video. So you've got more general scratch related questions, that's what I'm looking for. Okay, now for the last point. I just wanna mention that I'm gonna be slightly tweaking the direction of this channel over the coming months. What does that mean? Well, essentially, it's not gonna be a scratch only channel. I wanna be bringing you content that's all about learning. Learning techniques to help you learn quicker, help you encode information, and really, just to unlock the way that you learn, giving you heaps of tips and tricks. I've been exploring this myself over the past year, and I'm fascinated with it. And I wanna bring you all that gold as well. But don't worry, there's still gonna be scratch content, it's just not gonna be the focal point. So there you have it, that's it from me. And next week, we're gonna get started with the trigonometry series. I'm super pumped to bring this series to you, and I can't wait to see your creations. Let's get stuck into it next week, I'll see you there.